This video is going to be about the BlackBerry Prev powered by Android. Now, have you ever received a message that says unable to set application permissions due to screen overlay detected? Well, I've got that situation and that happens after you have an application installed and then you want to go change the permissions on an Android 6.0 Marshmallow install. So I'm going to show you now. I'm having the problem with my Garmin Connect. I install Garmin. I block the calendar settings, the calendar permissions. And let me show you that now. This is going to be a multiple edit video. Okay, so you can look over here and you can see that I blocked everything. Sorry about the light reflection. I blocked everything and I blocked my calendar and that's where the problem is now. I'm going to show you the message that pops up in a second. I keep getting this message that says uh, the program wants to contact my calendar and it needs permission. See if that happens now. I'm going to click on, oh good, we've got it. What amazing timing. Garmin. I click on the Garmin. Okay, that's not what I wanted. I'm going to get that permission message right now. There we go. That's exactly what I wanted. This is absolutely perfect. Hey, if you like my videos, please do a thumbs up, a subscribe, a like. If you want to donate to my channel, ask for my uh, PayPal info in a message or a comment. So we've got this thing over here now. It says access required. You have connected a device that is requesting notifications. Tap to enable notifications to be sent to the device. Now, by doing that, let's see what happens. Now, we end up over here at the BlackBerry launcher. We end up on the screen. And what ends up happening, I, I don't have that message now, but that's basically the message. Access required, and then it says permissions due to screen overlay. You need to go and make some, some changes. And you end up with this screen here. But this is not going to get you out of the mess that you're in. I'm going to show you how to take care of this. Two different ways to do it. So let's try it now, and I'll get rid of that light reflection. I get this notification access screen, and let me show you what you need to do. You need to uh, get rid of this screen overlay, either permanently or temporarily, so that you can go on and make some changes. So let me show you what has to happen. Go up to the top over here, and we will click on the settings wagon wheel. The settings wagon wheel pops up. The next step is we are going to go to apps. Apps is down over here. Where is apps? Apps is down over there. So I'm going to click on apps. Now most of us have never even noticed this screen before because we would never have any reason to. Once you click on apps, you look up at the top, you see that little gear wheel, the wagon wheel? We're going to click that again, which is a really odd thing to have to do twice. But we're going to click that again. And we come up with this screen, apps permissions, that, like I said, most of us have really never noticed before. Now, after you get that, you have a couple options, depending on what version of Marshmallow you have installed. Click on the thing that says Draw Over Other Apps. You see that over there? I'm going to click on that. Now, like I said, there are two different uh, versions of Marshmallow that you might have installed. You might have the updated version or maybe not. So if you've got this thing up at the top, you see it says temporarily turn off overlays. If you would have that, what you would do is you would click on that, this little uh, thing over here, and it would turn green. Then you would close and reopen the application. In my case, it would be Garmin. And then you would set your application permissions. Another way to do it is, and in my case, we're dealing with the Garmin Connect program. So if you don't have this temporary tur temporarily turn off overlays that I just explained, then you would just go to, okay, you see over there? Permit drawing over other apps. And what you want to do is you want to turn that off. So before you would temporarily turn it off with this one, you would just turn it off. 
Now that it is off, we are going to close the application and then reopen it and then set the application permissions. So let me see if this works. Application over there, I'm going to click my Garmin and see if it closes. I believe it closed. Now let me see, I don't know if this is going to work yet. We're going to go to the main screen. We're going to click on Garmin Connect. Garmin Connect is connecting. And then what I want to do is set my permissions. I don't know if this is going to work. We're going to find out. Access required. I'm still going in circles with this thing. But I do want to get my Garmin program so that I can make my changes. I want my Garmin permissions. I'm not really sure how to get to the Garmin permissions. I'm going to go at the top. I'm going to go up over here and click on the wagon wheel. I'm going to go back to apps. I'm going to go look for my Garmin. Garmin Connect. I'm going to click over here where it says permissions. We'll see if it allows me to change the calendar this time. Before it wouldn't. Um, because I kept on getting that overlay message. So let's go over to calendar. I really don't want to do this, but I don't want to do it at all. But Garmin keeps requesting that I allow the access. And I don't want to see these, even though you should be able to block this, which I was and I should be able to block the messages saying that it wants access. I can't do it. So I'm going to turn it on and we'll see if it allows it. To change the permissions, it wants me to go and do the app setting again. So uh, let's try this one more time. Let's go over to the apps wheel. The thing that I'm worried might have happened is that uh, I'm worried that I need to shut off the shut off the cell phone. I'm going to click on the gear wheel again. I'm worried that I need to re power down, draw over. Does it allow me to do the temporary temporarily turn it off? That's what I want to do. If this doesn't work, does it have a save setting there? I don't know. Reset, okay, here we go. Reset app preferences. Maybe that's what I needed to do. This will reset all preferences. No, 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 don't do that. That is not what you want to do. So I've got the temporary overlay set. And now, I still am not able to control my calendar permission. So I'm going to reboot the phone and we'll see if I can get in there and do it. And here we go again. I just got this message that it's trying to connect. And I'm trying to get rid of this productivity tab, which I can't seem to get rid of. But what I want to do is I don't want to permit the draw over other apps. So let's go back in and see if I can make this work again. I don't think I can. I don't know what's going on. Let's go here. Let's go back to the apps that we did before. I'm going to go click on Garmin once again. This is supposed to work. It should not be this complicated. We're going to go to permissions. Trying to get a good picture here. We're going to go to permissions. Let's see if I can click on the calendar. I might get that message again. There we go. Oh, yes. And that was the problem. Remember, I couldn't get it to, uh, to trigger. So I rebooted and went and did the process again. And there we go. So I've set the permissions for the calendar. And that temporarily uh, shutting off the... Uh, the overlay, that's probably going to kick back in. I don't know how long it takes, but that should take care of the message problem that I was getting. App needs to contact. 
So this is how you get rid of your unable to set applications permissions due to the screen overlay detected on the BlackBerry powered by Android. In this case, it's the Preve. It also works on the DTEK 50, on the DTEK 60, on Android 60 Marshmallow. I think this is going to help some people, well, hopefully a lot of people, because this is not an easy thing to figure out or to find how to do this. And there are a few other ways to do it. Let me, uh, let me give you a couple other ones just in case. Um, there's a time limit on this, so let's say if you need to put your phone into safe mode, you want to hold down the power button, press down on the power off when receiving the option to power off or reboot. Click OK on the Reboot to Safe Mode message. Open Settings once the device is rebooted into Safe Mode. Select Apps, which we did before. Click on Permissions. Select any application that you were previous, previously getting the following message from with the screen overlay thing. Enable all your permissions if that's what you want to do. And then repeat until you get rid of the problem. If you still encounter the screen overlay problem, open the settings, select apps, tap the gear icon that was at the top right, select draw over other apps, select the overflow menu in the top right hand corner, select show system, select the productivity tab, turn off permit drawing over other apps, Open Settings, select Apps, select any application that you were previously getting the following message on when attempting to set application permission, screen overlay detected. Click on Permissions, enable all permissions. The Productivity tab will disappear once this has been disabled and it, is, and it uses the screen overlay to function. One of these ways should work for you. The way that I just did worked for me, obviously. Good luck. Don't forget, thumbs up, subscribe. Leave me a message if you want to donate to my channel. Thank you.